Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lee Stewart. I've been fixing and upgrading Apple products for roughly two years now and despite being a steep learning curve, it is something that I'm beginning to enjoy. We begin this video by unboxing the iMac. This is a late 2013 iMac, with an Intel Quad Core i7, a 1TB hard drive and 16GB of DDR3 RAM. In 2012, Apple removed the Super Drive and this allowed the iMac to become much thinner than its predecessor. Despite being a much thinner design, it still houses a full computer and in its day, this configuration was fully specced. For a while now, I have had to rely on my MacBook Pro which was hooked up to my LG 4K external monitor via USB-C. I bought this iMac for only £550 as a base station. The seller was kind enough to include a full-sized wireless keyboard and mouse, both of which are charged via lightning cable. They also provided a USB super drive. Personally, I no longer use CDs because they have become obsolete in recent years. But, it's always nice to have one. In late 2013, the iMac support options at the time, were quite generous. There is a headphone jack, an SD slot, four USB 3 ports, two Thunderbolt ports and an Ethernet port. Today, I use mostly USB-C input peripherals, but buying an adapter online is very inexpensive. Now that I've installed Mac OS, it's time to shut the computer down and begin the storage removal and upgrade. For this task, I have purchased a 1TB SSD. Some I fix it adhesive strips. And last but not least, my iFixit toolkit, which has everything I'll need. Now, using my pry tool, I will cut into the adhesive that is already holding the screen. This is a very cautious task as I only want to cut the adhesive away and not crack the screen in the process. You have to take your time because it can be very difficult to separate all of the adhesive and one false move, could lead you to damaging the screen and internals, such as the eyesight camera. Using a couple of suction cups, I was able to gently pry the screen from the unibody. Once I removed the two connectors from the logic board, I was able to open the screen like a book and see the iMac externals. Located at the bottom of the display, there is a small piece of adhesive, which holds the display in place. The iMac was very dusty. Using my special cleaning brush, I was able to remove any accumulated dust from the fan and I simply blew to remove any excess dust on the logic board. The hard drive was held in place by two brackets. After removing the brackets, I carefully dislodged the hard drive from the connector and removed the bumpers, which I'll attach to the SSD. With the new SSD in place, I'll now remove the adhesive from the display, as I don't want to have my adhesive sticking to the old one. Now I'll apply the adhesive strips to the iMac, which will eventually hold the display in place. The numbers on the iFixit kit correspond to where they go clockwise. It's really simple to do. I then reattached the brackets that hold the SSD in place. Before peeling the adhesive strips, I want to connect the two cables to see if it powers on. I'll then boot into Mac OS Utilities to see if the new SSD is recognized. To ensure that the adhesive will properly stick to the display, I applied all of the sides and corners, firm pressure, making sure not to damage the display in the process. Beforehand, I used cushions, just in case the display detaches from the screen, falls and smashes. If the display did detach, it would fall safely on the cushions, 
Lastly, I gave the display a thorough clean, using a microfiber cloth to remove all of the smudges, giving the iMac a pristine look and finish. And we're done. Now I have an iMac with an SSD, which will definitely improve in performance compared to the Fusion hard drive I had installed earlier. If you enjoyed watching my video, give it a thumbs up, or hit that subscribe button to be notified of any new videos on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.